Well, I don't think you guys have met Levi the shelter puppy yet. So you know that we were fostering Savannah. We mostly primarily fostered greyhounds. Um, we said goodbye to her last month and about a week later we were contacted by our local shelter who we used or we foster kittens with them. We are currently redoing some bedrooms upstairs so we haven't fostered kittens in a long time. Those guys are real messy. Um, anyways they contacted us because they had a bunch of dogs come in from Texas. We are going to participate in an adoption event. Uh, it's a Subaru adoption event and they brought all of these dogs in and they needed foster homes for them. So we were placed with Levi, the shelter puppy, our newest foster addition. You want to meet him? Levi! Are you ready to come out? Levi is a wiggly, crazy, three-month-old, four-month-old puppy. Uh, he's a Chihuahua mix. He, no, don't chew my shirt. Thanks. He's, oh, what a love you are. I know, you are so, don't bite my ear. Now, puppies are a little different than grown dogs. They are rambunctious. I forgot how uh, crazy they are. He actually sleeps a lot, um, but we've been working on, um, Potty training has been my biggest goal with this guy. Yes, you are so sweet and wonderful. He has a darling little ears. We we kind of thought he might be part terrier. Um, he's he's fast and agile, like a little Chihuahua terrier. He's he's got that shakiness about him that Chihuahuas have. Um, he's definitely shy. Like even when I just approach him to like pet him or pick him up, he's like bends. He's like what? Like he's feels like he's been abused at some point in his life because he's so afraid. But I don't know, that might just be the Chihuahua. You know, Chihuahuas can be kind of like, like, uh, just, they just always look scared. <laughs> in an attempt to potty train this dog, I have basically on the first week or so that I had him, um, I was taking him out every single half hour, hour. We went to the same part of the house um, and every time he, peas or poops i say the word pookie which is what we tell our dogs when it's time to go outside we they we train them to basically use the bathroom on command we open the door they know exactly what they're supposed to do so every time levi goes to the bathroom i say pookie and the goal is that eventually i can just open the door let him go out tell him pookie and he's gonna go pookie go putty I'll wait. Come back. Come back. You gotta go pookie. We're not going inside until you. That wasn't it. You have to go potty. Good boy, come here. Now he's a puppy, so obviously he has a very small bladder. He definitely has had some accidents inside. I'm determined to make this like not a problem for his future family because I think that dogs that pee and poop in the house can be a deal breaker. I think that's a lot, why a lot of them end up being turned in anyways. Like families just reach their limit. They can't potty train the dog or it just got too old uh, to be potty trained it's like stubborn now and just continues to go in the house um so i have made it my mission also to save my own house <laughs> to keep this dog potty trained every time he's sniffing around like this um i get nervous he has been a baby bundle of darling joy to have in the house. When we first brought him in, he was terrified of Sandy um, and Jack, but he has since warmed up to them. So 
he's very friendly. He has been sleeping in a crate in Lena's room. He sleeps wonderfully in the crate. I just don't trust him to be walking around the house at night at all, like not even a bit. So he does great. We put him in the crate and um, he sleeps in there all night and then I bring him outside first thing in the morning. I, I don't know anything about his history. I don't know how he came, why he came from Texas. I don't know what his living situation was in Texas or where he was found. I don't know if he was a victim of uh, flooding or hurricane uh, there, but he's here now. Like any puppy, he tries to chew just about absolutely everything he can get his teeth on. So we make sure that he has chew toys and little bones and stuff that he can gnaw on. Uh, we don't really want him chewing on our fingers or on my like computer wire or like anything other than actual chew toys. So we tried to make sure he's occupied with those as often as possible. I take him with me on a lot of errands because I don't trust him again. I don't trust him at home by him. That, that's how psycho I am about making sure he doesn't pee in the house. Like I do not want that to become a comfortable habit for him. So when I pick kids up from school, um, do any sort of like practice drop offs, he comes along for the ride. So he's doing great in the car. And that's everything you could possibly know about our little Levi the shelter pup, my first foster puppy ever. Um, he definitely has kept me on my toes. Um, it's a whole different ball game when you've got a puppy in the house, but he's so funny. I really miss that age of just like, just how, how silly they are. He makes everybody laugh. Um, and everybody likes to play with him, so he's been really fun to have in the house. I'm going to be his handler at the adoption event that's coming up this month, um, which means I'll just be walking around with him answering potential adopter questions. Um, they said I could be there all day long with him or I could leave within a half an hour. It just depends on how quickly he gets adopted. So I will bring you guys along so you can see what this adoption event is all about. I really don't know, I've never been to one before. Um, but I will try to get as many puppies and dogs on this camera as I possibly can. That part excites me a little bit. And we'll see if we can get Levi into a really wonderful adoptive home. This video is going up before the event takes place. So if you know someone local here in Washington state that might be interested in Levi the foster pup, let me know and I will see if we can uh, get you to take a look at him at the event. Wouldn't that be exciting? Someone, one of you actually adopted him. We'll be sad to see him go, but puppies are high maintenance, I'll tell you what. Those sleepy greyhounds, they're, they're, they set me up <laughs> because that's what I'm used to in this puppy. I'm like, what's he doing now? Where's he going now? What's he sniffing? Does he have to go outside? Like, puppies will drive you crazy, but they're sure cute. Have a good week and don't forget, if you are looking for a dog, adopt one. <laughs> don't forget that. Okay, okay, bye.